Hey guys, welcome to this proof. It is a triangle congruency proof. So what we're gonna look at is different combinations of angles and sides to try to come up with a valid proof that these two triangles are congruent. So first traditional proof setup is like this, where you have statement and reason. So now step one, my first statement, I always like to do the given. So first given was AD is perpendicular to BC. The reason we give is given. The second step is gonna be this other given. CA is congruent to AB. So that means these two things are congruent right here on the diagram, and the reason once again is given. So off to the right-hand side here, I like to leave a little note for myself, a little S telling me that I have a side dealt with here. So now step three, I'm gonna look at step one and ask, what is it telling me it's gonna help me out here? Well, that is that the two angles are right. And then in the diagram, I can label it. And the reason for that is definition of perpendicular. Anytime you see perpendicular or parallel or different things like that, a lot of times the definition of it leads to something that's gonna help you out. And then off to the side here, I'll write right, telling me that I'm probably setting up for an HL now. Next step. By reflexive, I know that AD equals AD. The reason is reflexive. And so now I have another set of sides. So the trick now is recognizing that these sides, since it probably is an HL, I'm gonna recognize that this side opposite my 90 degree angle is my H, and this side is one of my legs. So now I'm pretty much done because I have corresponding H's, corresponding L's equal to each other in a right triangle. So I'm just gonna say my conclusion statement. And my reason, I'm just going to put HL. So hope that made sense, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.